Hi, Professor Lomax here for a quick tip of the day. We're doing blocking for toilet paper holders. You might ask, why do we need blocking? Well, you'll find out in a second. What we did is I went back to the original house and I figured out what the elevation was. And it so happened to be, I'm gonna match the original house, that the toilet paper in midway was 26 inches. Up, right? So I snapped a line. Well, from here to here, I have the, the, the first backing in there. We have a two by eight right here we're using, which is an old, old two by. It's a little, uh, it's a little bit beat up, but it'll work for our purposes. We want a big block. Sometimes you use two by twelves on there, so that when you go to when you go to put this when you put the sheetrock on, you don't know where the block is too much. So you want it to be as big as possible. That's just a little tip. You can use a two by four, you can use a two by, uh, two by six, but the smaller it is, the more difficult to find it. So I like to use something big. Clump, you just pop that in there, right? So, make sure it looks a little nice. Boom, boom, we'll shoot that real quick. I'm over here, I'll shoot that. Make sure this is nice and flush so it doesn't go over this guy. That, oops. that wasn't good. Make sure that's nice and flush over here. And we'll shoot that. Boom. Boom. Now we have our backing right here. You follow what I'm saying? When we put the she rock on, this block will be there. Now, here's our toilet paper holder. How many times have you gone? and use the toilet paper holder and people screw it onto the walls and it breaks off because there's no backing. But when you screw it on right here, after the shoe rock's on, boom, you have total backing. It'll be solid. It won't break off. It'll be stout. You know what I mean? So this is a small tip of the day from Professor Lomax. Thank you.